President of that division, we've just recently hired Dominic Spina to be our VP. Dominic was uh, uh, formerly from NVIDIA. Uh, he has had a long career in the industry as well, worked as the uh, product manager of Nuke, a digital really? domain to develop that, um, but has been working uh, with the key accounts in entertainment for about five, six years at NVIDIA. Um, he's our uh, worldwide head of marketing and sales for the Lightwave Group. Um, we have a great uh, international team for our development team. We have developers in Japan, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Austria, Finland, all over the U.S. Um, we're, we're an international group. And uh, I'm excited about 11.5 because there are a lot of features in 11.5, including the new Virtual Studio tools, which uses the PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation hardware with the MoveMe software um, and Move controllers to pretty much replicate digital puppeting in real time, virtual cameras, virtual set walkthroughs. You can record takes, wow. um, all kinds of uh, walkthroughs. With, with, with a hit of a button, you turn on our VPR, which is our integrated ray traced renderer in the integrated window uh, in real time. Um, and all of the technology works together also with our stereoscopic camera. Uh, I'm going to be doing that demo a little bit later, but if, if the viewers uh, check out our streams that have been recorded and archived online, they'll be able to see all of these demos. We've also created, the Lightwave group has created a brand new website, all new website for Lightwave. It's called Lightwave 3D. We have a lot of news stories, we have tutorials, we have a great new user gallery. Um, in addition, there has always been a hardware dongle with Lightwave. So we have replaced that dongle with copy protection that is all digital. It's a digital download right from the store. The store is all new. Mm -hmm. um, you may have seen some of the t-shirts that we've done for SIGGRAPH. They're limited edition, but they will be available for sale for a limited time after the show uh, online at Lightwave3D.com. So we're very excited about our new product. Lightwave 11.5 uh, has uh, a whole slew of new features, some of them being uh, you know, per, uh, per instance control control for the instancing system, and then flocking system, we've added predator pr prey uh, behaviors, so if you have that predator chasing animals or something, it, it, all the behaviors and movement uh, it, it is really natural. Um, we have Genoma. Genoma is amazing because it really makes rigging of characters uh, extremely easy. We have a whole preset system in Genoma, so you have arms and rigs and legs, but also a full uh, character biped rig or quadruped is included. Uh, in fact, the, the biped, there's a motion capture version, which I actually use myself. We've taken that. It has nodes on the rig where you can animate on top of motion capture when you inject that in. It's the same workflow that's being used at studios like Pixamondo and Burbank uh, on shows like um, you know, they, they did Hunger Games shots, they did Terra Nova all last season, while a beautiful dinosaur work for Steven Spielberg on television, which looked like Jurassic Park was incredible. Um, all rendered in lightweight. They have a diverse pipeline. We have great interchange tools. We support Autodesk Geometry Cache. We support GoZ, uh, ZBrush. I was a beta tester for ZBrush. I've used it a lot in my career. We love Jaime and the gang there. Uh, Olaf at uh, uh, Pixelogic for ZBrush. Um, we have great GoZ implementation so that you can push one button push. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm a user, so when we first implemented this, the developer came back with a workflow that you had to install the plugins. But we changed it so that you just push the button. If you've installed ZBrush and Lightwave on your system, it automatically knows that. It loads it the first time, and then you push that button, send your model directly to ZBrush. You can sculpt texture and sculpt parts. You can even sculpt morph targets and send those back to Lightwave for your endomorphs, your morph, uh, your your blend shapes in, in essence. Like Wave's version of blend shape. You can then, uh, when you're done sculpting and you have the great normal, normal maps and texture maps, color maps, uh, displacement maps, you can send those with one button push back to Lightwave's award-winning 20-year renderer, which is included in the package. Um, and it sets up all the node graphs, the nodal setup flow for that. Uh, also, the great thing that, to point out is that, you know, with all these interchange tools, Lightwave used to be kind of like an island unto itself, where you had to choose between use Lightwave or use that. The great thing about since I joined, I've been adding these interchange tools. We also have Unity support where there's interactive uh, scene uh, uh, interaction between Lightwave and Unity so if you update something in Lightwave it automatically updates in Unity. These kinds of things are very important because you don't want to have to force people to pick or choose one thing. You want the pipeline to work with whatever they're doing. So, for example, at Pixelmundo in Burbank, they have a you know 3D Studio Max globally, worldwide uh, workflow with V-Ray. 
uh, typically. But the group in Burbank has been doing a lot of work in Lightwave on all these shows because we've made it possible with these new interchange tools. So when you think about Lightwave being $14.95 for the full package, you have a modeler all the way to uh, texturing, rigging, animation effects, the bullet dynamics that are in there, the new soft bodies that we've added to bullet in Lightwave 11.5 are beautiful for cloth and fat jiggling and hair. Um, and then you have that renderer that's been built in since Lightwave's beginning. And you know, you, all of that is included. So unlimited render licenses come with Lightwave. All the beautiful shots that we have on our archive history reel from Babylon 5 in the early days, the first thing that really launched the visual effects through Star Trek to uh, The Walking Dead today, the, the work on uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, the, the mutant rat character in Spider-Man was all done by uh, the gang there at uh, Pixamondo. Uh, uh, and you know, I, I think that when you think about all that, also the upgrades are only $6.95. Mm -hmm. There's no subscription required. We don't throw you out of the family if you don't keep current. We want users to choose our software because the tools allow them to, to, to tell their stories and to get their work done, not because they have to keep current with a certain upgrade or whatever. So if we haven't done our job to put features in there that people find useful, then don't upgrade. But I think, I feel confident that every version of Lightwave is going to have great features. If you look at the trajectory of development from the last year and a half, we have been rapidly increasing our development. We are going to be the only 3D uh, development uh, uh, company that I know of is going to be based in Hollywood Epicenter in Burbank. We've been working closely with the studios, our development team, and the entire Lightwave group, 3D group, which is now the separate division within New Tech, is based in Burbank. So we're right here in Los Angeles area. We're very excited about that. The new website, Lightwave3D.com, the new store, the dongle-free version of Lightwave. Uh, our magazine is online. You will also be able to see a lot of tutorials, plus all the streams that we've had for the entire SIGGRAPH will be available. Um, so we're excited excited about that. We love the product. And um, I, I would also point out that um, basically with Lightwave, the cool thing about it is in many softwares you're required to have a diverse pipeline where you have to go to an external renderer. You can't render in the application or if you do, the renderer is not really up to snuff. It's not production proven. It's not the quality. So many people have a pipeline based on V-Ray or Mental Ray or RenderMan outside of their application. Um, the modeling may be done in an, another application. It may be sculpted in another application. Uh, you know, Massive may be the tool used for, for uh, uh, the crowd scenes or, or the flocking. Uh, the other thing that's happening is TD uh, uh, support is, is oftentimes required for a lot of the proprietary tools that are seen uh, in the work that you do. So with Lightwave, you have the choice now with the interchange tools to integrate into those pipelines if you need that. But also, as always, Lightwave also gives you the option to go from beginning to end, beginning to end of the entire production from model to render, all the stuff in the in the package. Oftentimes, when you look at our reel and our website, uh, a lot of the shots are done exclusively in Lightwave, including the renders, which is a huge difference. And I think giving that flexibility so artists can go back and forth and choose how they want to use and don't, are not forced to have a complex pipeline if it's not necessary is amazing. The other thing I would point out is when you have the power to have all those tools as an artist at your fingertips, like Chris Jones who's done The Passenger, which on his own, I mean it's this beautiful thing that is is really Pixar quality animation, amazing from one man, and you have something like uh, uh, the Richard Mann's uh, Abiogenesis, which you can see at abiogenesisfilm.com, it's a guy in New Zealand sitting there with an idea and using Lightwave to go from beginning to end to make his own story. Uh, Energy of Productions with Iron Sky, if you look at the quality of Iron Sky, it's a 7.9 million feature film. It's all virtual sets, all the environments, everything. They started another pipeline using Maya. It didn't work out for them. They converted to Lightwave and everything they're doing is, is the majority 99, 95, 98% Lightwave. And we're so proud of the visual quality because that render is amazing. I've seen it projected, it's beautiful, but also the fact that they were so, uh, they had 20 artists in eight months do 800 visual effect shots. Mm -hmm. Only 12 of those artists were Lightwave. The rest of them were compositors. These kinds of teams that are doing this amazing work as generalists is really exceptional work and we're so proud to have them as part of our family um, and I thank you for listening. Please visit lightwave3d.com and uh, check out our new website and find out all the new information.